Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutation to all you occupants pushing this truth and truth with sincerity. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. So the prophets are on their watch. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right. One of the many visions of one of the many prophecies is the MOTB, according to Revelation 13 and 6. And it's speaking right now and it's not lying. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. This is uh, from superblind.com. Thousands of Swedes are getting micro C hip implants under their skin. Thousands of people in Sweden are getting micro C hip implants inserted under their skin. Apparently, piercings and tattoos aren't the it thing in Sweden anymore. As strange as it may sound, micro C hip implants are, increase, are increasing in popularity. Continuing on. Give me one sec. They're so popular, in fact, that thousands of people are hopping on the bandwagon. These small implants about the size of a grain of rice have steadily grown in popularity since they were int first introduced in 2005. If you're wondering why, it's pretty simple. They're a convenient substitute for carrying keys, credit cards, and train tickets. So they're going to push comfortability on the masses of people when it's easy to carry keys and credit cards. All right, they're going to, Esau is going to use his uh, media. All right, let me get a scripture right quick. He's going to use his media to say, oh, it's so easy, like like the C-Hip girl from Australia. Oh, it's so easy to open a door now. It's so easy to uh, not use your credit card. These people are lazy, all right? And so uh, they're going to push um, more fear on the people, all right? They're going to push uh, more identity theft, all right? More bank fraud. More cash is going to be missing from people's... Um, you know, bank accounts and the only order out of chaos. This this man's solution is to put the sea hip under your skin when the Bible condemns it. Second Corinthians 2 and 11, the Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of this propaganda that Esau's putting out here. Oh, it's so easy to do this. It's so easy to do that. It's just, it's just so simple. He's the devil. He's a deceiver. He'll use, um, Smooth words. Matter of fact, let's get that one. All right. Psalms 55. Because they had that uh, C hip girl that got the uh, implant, what, roughly like a few months ago. Now she's regretting it. Everything in her life got shut down. Psalms 55 and 20. He had put forth his hand such against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. This man is a liar. All right. Ask the Native Americans and all those broken treaties. He's telling you something and, and behind closed doors, man, he's plotting against you. The words of his mouth are smoother than butter. Oh, it's so easy to use this. You can open up doors or you can just manually open up a door by yourself. But war was in his heart. He's trying to fulfill his so-called new world order, but this man can't even predict the weather. So this man is a total failure. The, the scriptures say the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. You didn't come up with, you didn't come up with this concept, Esau. Uh, the Lord put this con, the Lord put this on your spirit. This is the Lord's will. At the end of the day, his words were uh, softer than oil, yet were they, yet were they drawn swords. All right, so you can't trust this man, right? You can't trust the World Economic Forum and all these other platforms. Um, because they're, they're going to start to do these climate lockdowns. It's, it's about to get a whole lot more uglier. They got to create situations to where they're going to have these people begging to take this. And people are going to probably trample each other. All right. Here in America to get this sea hip. They're already making it popular in Sweden. It's the hip thing. It's, it's hip to get the chip. That's probably going to be a slogan out here. It's hip to get the chip. 
you know, they had vote or die with these rappers like a decade ago. Hey, be best believe these same crash test dummy celebrities that these people idolize are going to be pushing it. So continue on. It says, so you get one of these micro C hip implants inserted under the skin and can go about your day without worrying if you've forgotten anything. Apparently, micro C hip implants are entirely safe. It's not safe putting a radio frequency identification chip under your skin. That's not normal. Apparently, micro C hip implants are entirely safe and work immediately after being implanted, too. They don't require a battery or power source either. Now, the scriptures talk about a grievous sore about, upon those who took the mark. When you look that word up, it goes to cancerous pus. So you can see this is not the right thing to do. You got a cancerous pus in your right hand, your left hand, your forehead, wherever you're going to, where these people going to put it at. Are there any drawbacks then? Obviously, there are concerns regarding surveillance and privacy breaches because you are being watched. You're part of the beast system. You're fully implemented into the beast system once you take this. All right. And like, like you got a crack, you got this crash test dummy right here. All right. I forgot this girl's name, man. And, uh, just another crash test dummy. All right. Paris Hilton. She's probably already got it. You see these celebrities, man. And and they're, they're, they're making buku amount of money. They probably already have it. They, they showed it years ago in that fat Joe lean back video when all the other people, you know, had to wait in line and he walked right in. Him and his crew walked right in, rock, walked right in. And they're gonna, uh, like I said, they're gonna use convenience. If you wanna, if you wanna watch the preseason football game, or you wanna watch your favorite sporting event, you gotta get this, and people will go take it. It says, with some believing, there is a dark side to the technology that has a potential for abuse. It also begs the question: Who owns the data? Well, you know who owns the data: the top banking families, and who has access to the data. It is ethical to uh, see hip people. Like we do pets. I even have a neighbor who said he uh, see hipped his dog. That dog is off the chain, man. This dog is barking all hours of the night. That being said, it hasn't stopped around 30,000 people in Sweden getting the implants. So these are the thousands of people. It's probably more than that. Not everyone is so keen on the idea, though, with hundreds of people taken to Instagram to share their opinions. Imagine being so dumb as to get one of those one person said. But we'll see what these people do when you can't buy or sell, according to the scriptures. You can't go to Kroger or Food Depot or Publix or uh, Whole Foods. All right, there's, there's a, there was a report with last week that says Whole Foods is basically going digital soon. I like, you see that you see this uh, wallet more right here. You'll be able to scan your hand with a device to get into Whole Foods. So we're, we're in that time, man. You know, you, I'm not gonna read this whole thing I'm at the uh, plantation, but uh, this is what's really happening, man. All right. The sea hip is already here. You, you other Israelite camps got some explaining to do. All right. Matter of fact, let's get that one. Um, let's get this Ezekiel 13. Ezekiel 13 and uh, I believe verse three. It says, thus saith the Lord power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Yeah, it's June. Ain't no Michael C. Hips or, you know, uh, that's that's not what it is. It's sin. It's embargo. It's sleeping with white women, so on and so forth. You're not seeing anything. You're seeing your own belly. You, you're feeding your own belly. You, you're securing the bag here. It, it, you, that's, a, that's how dumb you uh, other Israelite camps are who sold out. Because the money's going digital. Thus said the Lord power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. And that's you other Israelite camps, man. Let's go to Micah, um, Micah chapter 2. I believe it was Micah 2 or 4, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just, I believe it was Micah 4. Micah 3, excuse me. Um... Micah chapter 4, Michael 4 and 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, hirelings. They're getting, they're getting money to, to, to deceive you. They're getting 
millions of dollars annually to deceive the masses of you Israelites who know that you're Israelites. And the prophets thereof divine for money, yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil can, can come upon us. Like you got these guys that have been telling lies so much about the sea hip. They fully believe it, man. They fully believe they're doing God's will by lying to you. All right. But with us in the know-how, starting with the apostles and elders, we have this sound doctrine. All right. Let's go to, um, I think it's Titus, the second chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Just bear with me. Titus 2, this ain't the one, but it's a good one. Titus 2 and 7. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. That's starting with our apostles and elders. All right. Sound speech that cannot be condemned. This is sound speech. That he is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. And when it's all said and done, you people are going to realize starting from the apostles and elders, that we have the truth and we've been telling you the truth the whole time. All right, that's a good one. I'm gonna just stay with that one. All right, because we're we're giving you sound speech, telling you not to take a device, all right, that the Lord condemned and it is cancerous, man. And you're part of this beast system. You're basically saying you wanna be a slave to the so-called white man. I'm tired of walking on concrete. I'm tired of clocking in, all right? Nobody, uh, nobody in their right mind who's in the truth wants to be a slave to this system. Lord willing, we endure until the end. Because this, this is this is coming upon the earth soon. You know, it, it's, it's back in the football season. You got the preseason game. I guess when this video goes up, it'll probably be Friday. You know, they had the Jets and the Browns game. I don't know who won yet, but it's, it's a full season of, of getting you distracted with the, the holiday seasons, football. All right, Brother Senator Post said from now on until February, there's going to be an NFL game every week. These people don't know. As long as they can go get a Whataburger and watch football and a 70 inch TV, they're not even concerned. I went to the um, store a couple days ago and I asked the lady, did they take cash? She looked at me like I had three heads. She's like, sure, we take cash. I was like, well, there's some places in this area and Atlanta that don't take cash. She's like, well, that's absurd. I never, I, what, what world is that? I'm like, these people have no idea. A lot of these people, especially our people, have no idea what the hell is going on. Until they got to make that decision. A lot of these people on the comment board talking about what they will and won't do. All right. We're, we're coming to the hour of temptation. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou has kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. When that sea hip is made mandatory and you can't buy or sell. We, we read Revelation 13 and 16 countless of times. You can't buy or sell without this device. You can't buy or sell with Christianity and sleeping with white women in embargo. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to get to the last scripture, Revelation 14, the consequence of taking this. Um, Revelation 14 and 9, and it reads, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image. All right. The image of the beast is what you see. This current system, you know, democracy, homosexuality, all this loose activity going on here. All right. That's the image of the beast. It's not a picture of Cesare Borgia. At these other Israelite camps say and receive his mark, that karagma. All right. I think it's G5480 karagma. And then G5482 is Karax. It says, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Indignation means righteous anger. God is angry. He's not good all the time. And he's going to be angry at those who have been teaching lies about this MOTB. And he shall be torn tormented with the fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So either... Take the chip. People are going to get destroyed by what you call so-called UFOs. The Lord is going to be on a fathership. You know, Esau likes to point out here that, um, you know, he has control over the so-called UFOs. No, he doesn't. That's another thing he lies about. All right. But either 
the consequence is going to be getting shot out by laser beams from these chariots, what people call UFOs, or these intercontinental ballistic missiles that's going out. So that's basically it. Don't take the sea hip. No Lord willing, we endure to the end and, and pass the hour of temptation. All right. You see, you see what happened in 2020 when people took the juice. That was a precursor to this, the sea hip. So with that, I'm going to say shalom.